Good evening, everyone. I am your host, Nancy Baker, and we are back with another Thursday Night Live. And tonight, it's not just me and one player. I've got two players for you. I've got two absolute ballers. I've got... They're both from West Ham. And, yeah, they've got really, really good chemistry on and off the pitch. And I'm so buzzing to have Lois Joel and Grace Viss joining us tonight. Lois has just jumped in, so they're both going to be on Lois's page. Nice and quick. That's what we love to see. They should be coming through right now. I hope everyone has had a lovely day. Here Hello. they are. What's going on? What's Hi. Up? Look at this. You lot smashed it. You got in so quick. Thank you. We're it's, it's the It's the pretext of, are you ready? We've got three <laughs> minutes, isn't it? <laughs> we were eager, very eager. Was you just like sitting in front of the phone wait, waiting to go? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Rapid. That's what we want. So for anyone who doesn't know who you are, but I feel like that's not going to be the case, especially with the features that you lot come on on the We Play Strong vlog. Can you both give me a little introduction, Lois, if you would like to go first? So if you tell us your name, <clears throat> who you play for, and three words to describe yourself as a player. Hello, um, I'm Lois Joel, I'm a wing back, and three words to describe me would be, as a player, did you say? You can do it as a person if you want, you can, you can go rogue with it. I don't describe you. each other. I'll, do, I'll describe, if that's okay, sorry to change that there. <laughs> I'll do three words to describe Lois. I would say, fun, athletic. <laughs> Rapid and caring. Oh, <laughs> thank you. That's you nice. Oh. Max laughing at us in the background. But, <laughs> um, do you want to introduce yourself first? Yeah, I am Grace Fisk. I'm also at West Ham, and I'm a centre back. And three words to describe you, Fisky, would be um, composed. <laughs> nice. Um, a leader. Nice. And fun too. Can I use can I steal a word? Positive, I mean I think optimistic. it's not very original, but I'll let you have it if if you can't think of another. We're just two fun girls, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? You've been nice to each other there. I thought you were gonna potentially yeah. stitch each other up, but you've been very no, we kind. Can't dig each other out. We like that, we like that. How has your day been today, both of you? Have you had a day off or was you in training earlier or how's it been? We were in training, yeah. We had training this morning. It was hailing at training, so that was fun. Um, mm. But yeah, we just had training, came back. We cooked dinner together, me, Lo, and Mac. Um, and yeah, it was a lovely day. Lovely day. What did you have for dinner? Who cooked? Did you cook together? I had to. They forced me to take the lead today as I'd been slacking a bit with dinners, but I fried some salmon. Nice. And yeah, fried some salmon, <laughs> rice in a bowl. <laughs> Broccoli, the whole yeah, shebang. It was very nice. Have you, seen, it. have you seen the TikTok rice bowl, salmon bowl? No, I haven't, but I will give it a watch after this. You should. It's very I feel good. like it's potentially just a bit of salmon, a bit of rice, and some broccoli, as you just described. Yeah. With sriracha sauce and mayo, and you've got a five star meal, really. All right, I'll, de I'll definitely give it a watch. I'll, I'll see if I can chef it up like you, but I probably won't be, won't be as good. Right. Good luck. Okay, so we're going to get into to some of the questions. Also, quick shout out to Mackenzie Arnold because she definitely just followed the We Play Strong page and I saw it and I was actually buzzing with that. So thank I'm you. A bit too late, Mac, but well done. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Thank She's you. Big time. We, we, we appreciate it though. We, we spot those things, or I do anyway. Um, so yeah, the first thing I want to ask you, and obviously you're at West Ham, you're with Lisa, who is queen of the vlogs. What was it like when she first stuck that camera in your face and made you jump on the vlog? I would say Lisa's quite good at making us feel, you know, she made it quite easy for us, but she, she also forced us. It was in our face <laughs> a lot. And I'm sure you guys edited it very well to make us not look too, too awkward on camera. But yeah, it's been fun. I think it adds, it shows a good insight. Yeah. I think Lisa's worked out now who's, who likes the camera and who doesn't like, she knows who to go to to get content yeah. and she knows who not to go to who's not going to give her anything. So she's worked it out now. Fisky's been slacking recently. 
<laughs> the camera's not been near her. Camera's not been near her. I bet when it first when it was first put in front of you, it was like, oh my god, like what do I do? And now I feel like it's probably like second nature to give or take everyone at West Ham. Yeah, people aren't like scared of it anymore. I don't think. Very used to it. You were but always Lisa's a natural. Great. Oh, you you were always it. <laughs> but yeah, Lisa's great at just getting the best out of people. You know, definitely. And who is your favorite person to put when you get get to control the vlog? Who's your favourite person to just go up to and try and get them involved? Longy, Kate Longhurst. <laughs> she she, she loves it, doesn't she? She honestly, you don't you don't know what she's going to come out with. That's what's the best about her. You literally and she's exactly how she is on camera as she is yeah. off camera. It's not for for it at all. She, that's her. That's that's what we love to see. I think it's a it's a great insight, isn't it, to like what what you lot do and it it shows you beyond just being football players which I think is really important uh Lois I love your dad jokes as well like sometimes they they don't hit as well but sometimes they're very strong I get quite a bit of slack for them but I'm glad some of you enjoy it yeah I think I feel like everyone enjoys a good dad joke whether they want to admit it or not I agree yeah so also i need to give you a shout out because you definitely gave grace the call up tonight to come and join us on the live which was excellent techers from you <laughs> she was actually over the moon to accept. <laughs> she was so yeah. eager as we've just said i love being on camera so i jumped at the opportunity i did no convincing at all <laughs> absolutely jumped in it and lois like i have been asking you to jump on for a while i think you get a text of me like at least every two weeks saying are you ready yet are you ready yet are you i'm, ready a, yet? I'm yet? a busy girl i promise I've, I've been trying to do it but you know things just kept popping up it literally got to the point where I was like, Lois, this is the last time I'm ever going to ask you. Like, that's it's, what it's... I thought. So, I, you know, we made it work. Here we we are. made it work. That's, that's what we love. Uh, we've had a few questions come in naturally. Oh, that lighting's not doing me well there. We've had a few questions come in naturally. Everyone wants to know what it is like in that dressing room before a game because it looks absolutely wild. Like, it looks like you lot <clears throat> bring the energy. Yeah, I mean, it changes every game, honestly, I'd say. Like, some games, sort of, we're always kind of on the same level. Like, some games, it's more chill and more everyone's just in their own, sort of, preparing for the game, in their own element kind of thing. And then other times, like, as soon as sort of one or two people start getting up, dancing and doing some weird stuff, like, everyone just kind of jumps on board as well. So, yeah, it, whatever works for the team on the day, really, it, it mixes up. Who is the designated DJ? It's um, actually our kit woman, isn't it? Yeah, usually she's got oh. the tunes going before we get there. And then once Drew gets in, I think she switches it up. Yeah, Drew's good. Yeah, That's really interesting that I've never had someone say it's their kit person. Yeah, she's the first in there, obviously, to set up all the kit and then ah. puts the music on. So when we walk in, the music's already on. And she does a good job. And then she does. for training, it's our, actually our strength intern, isn't it? Yeah. Molly, shout out to Molly. She does Ooh. very good DJing, so... That's really interesting to hear. So basically what you're saying is the staff at West Ham have always got you covered with a, with a good yeah, tune. we don't have much complaints for me. No, we, do we don't. We, we don't. Yeah. Like Maybe you. when Jilly's on, a couple, <laughs> a couple of questionable choices from Jilly. But other than that, yeah, smashing it. If you had to give it to one player, though, on, on the day, like on the spot, to just play bangers in and out, who, who would you give the call up to? Is it, would it be the same person or would it be a different one for each of you? really depends what what what's the the context what's the situation so it's a big game and you just want loads of it you want loads of energy like you just want to get everyone really buzzing for it three props yeah Drew's Drew's got, good she just knows the party playlist or yeah the pump she's up got a playlist. good few pump ups yeah okay love that on a match day what's your breakfast do you have like a set breakfast um yeah i usually have porridge um and then if it's a late kickoff, like I'll have pasta as well. But if it's just a one meal, I'll usually have porridge, yeah. And I go for the, the poached egg on toast, maybe a bit of avocado if I'm feeling crazy. But who is it at West Ham that just has like 10 Weetabix or something? Like <laughs> Grace Garrard. Is it Grace? Yeah, it's Gigi. It's Gigi. Yeah, I think she stopped that now. But yeah, she. <laughs> yeah, we got a nutritionist in and now she only eats two. <laughs> 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 but they yeah, they cut down their intake on wheat because it's she just loves much. cereal. She, she loves needs to cereal, get sponsored yeah. by some cereals. <laughs> that is so funny. I remember seeing it on a vlog and I was like, 
That's a lot of wheat bix <laughs> Yeah, is. we were all shocked when she told us, but if it works for her, then fair enough. So it wasn't a joke when she said she eats that much. Like it's a genuine. I think it's eight. Is it eight? <laughs> Not. No, it's what, still I a think lot. It's now it's much more. It, it's like three. Yeah, four. it's way it's less four. now. It's two packets. But I'm sure she said eight. She would have. But you know what? She's got a wonderful left foot. Yeah, so if it makes the left foot do its magic, then. No complaints. Okay. So you can't complain if she if she's doing her job, then you you cannot complain. So uh, Leanne Kiernan, who's obviously at Liverpool, sent in a question, and she wanted to know, how do you juggle your... I feel like there's an inside joke on this, but I'm going to ask anyway. How do you juggle being a professional footballer and your social life? <laughs> no, there's no I, inside joke with that. That's such a Leanne question. Leanne... Oh, so it was a serious question. Life. No, I'm joking. Um, how do we balance it? I think there's a fine line, obviously, but we just... We try and you know focus on other things except for football otherwise it can be quite consuming can't it and it can get a lot so yeah it's just knowing we you know we'll go for a dinner now and then yeah i mean obviously you've got to have a switch off but obviously football comes first and we've had a lot of games recently a lot of free game weeks so our social life has just been with the team pretty much but that's why i think it's so good with football obviously you're in a team of 20 25 players you know if a few people are annoying you, then you've got another 20 players to go hang out with, you know, so... I love that. You're yeah. annoying, see you later, I'm going over yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, when, you know, obviously in the season, it's you don't get out a lot, you don't do much, you don't see a lot of other friends, but, yeah. you know, obviously we have summer for that and stuff. So in the season, obviously, it's football-based um, and you have all your teammates around you to, to keep you going in, in that respect. Nice. And what is your favourite thing to do when you haven't got a game? So say you've got a few days off, say two, three days off. What what does a couple of days off look like for, for both of you? Lois, do you want to go first on that one? Yeah, if we get a few days off, quite a few of us go home um, nice. and go all over. But if we decide to do something together, we try and we we now and then try and go somewhere. I don't know if we get three days off in a row, we'll look somewhere because that's quite rare. But yeah, we went, we did a little getaway trip to yeah. a two-day we we kept it yeah so i say cornwall i'd go cornwall have a little surf trip with the girls who's yeah. the best at surfing definitely not me <laughs> bisky was atrocious what like, you try i don't like water yeah she doesn't she yeah <laughs> doesn't mix too well but i wouldn't say me either it was probably probably mac it was probably yeah, mac probably but mac. she's australian it doesn't count I literally was just about to say, when I went to Australia, I went surfing and I was convinced that I was going to be so good at it. And then like, I tried to get on the board and I literally pulled my groin and literally couldn't even get up. It's hard. I do think you need lessons. I had the same confidence. I just thought I was going to smash it, but I got humbled out there. The waves, <laughs> the waves have the power of their own. Honestly, my best mate who literally... I was like, you're gonna be, you're not gonna be good at this. She was so much better than me, and it is the most frustrating thing I've ever experienced in my life. I was like, how are you better than me? I can't even get up. I was like on my knees, like trying yeah. to balance because my groin won't let far. me get up. Yeah, we, yeah. Oh well, I can't speak. Lois had, had, Lois had one good day, and then yeah, day one I smashed it. Day two I just lost my way a bit, didn't I? But. <laughs> Did yeah. you get too confident too quickly and then it just went downhill? Yeah, from just, I, yeah, I went out with so much confidence and then like the first wave, I just pff, took me out. And then after that, I was a, I was a bit more timid, <laughs> yeah. a bit more timid with the surfboard. But yeah, came and floated with me for a bit. <laughs> I went to, went to Fisky in the shallow end. <laughs> Love that. And Mackenzie Arnold's there just riding the waves, living her best life. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. Oh, so ride in the waves. No, but she was, she was standing she up. Good yeah. She stood up and balanced for, for a few seconds. Yeah, exactly. Who is the, I'm, I think I know who you're going to say for this answer, but I'm not going to say my answer until you say it. Who's the best dressed in the team? I always like knowing like who, who people think are best dressed. Well, I'd say the person that I say most of the time you look cool today is Hawa, Hawa Sissoko. She yeah. comes in with some, she's with very some bold, cool outfits that only how like yeah. if I was to wear that would look shocking. She looks and so yeah i'd yeah. say how she's definitely the most out there with fashion yeah yeah we keep it simple we do the we do the you know the simple things well we <laughs> we nail down those basics <laughs> basic but smashing it exactly we like to think so. <laughs> Classic girls. 
if you had to steal one person's wardrobe in your team, you've just said, like, how uh, obviously dress is really cool, but Grace, you said you probably couldn't pull it off. Um, your words, not mine. Who, <laughs> just to clarify, whose um, who's wardrobe would you would you be taking? You can't say each other because you both said you dress really basic, but do it well. Yeah, but I think we dress quite similar. I don't know who else dresses like that. Yeah, I'm trying to think who would get, you know, a good few statement pieces from. <laughs> Something just to jazz up the wardrobe. Um, I'll try and take Mac's shoe collection. Yeah, but she has a decent shoe collection. Or love a, love a good trainer. Yeah, but... One thing. Yeah, I'm not a huge fashion person. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm being honest, like, the girls come out with some brands that I've just never heard of, but if they look good, fair enough. Um, I don't know. I would take Max stuff, just, just for a few more designer upper end pieces <laughs> drown in plugs <laughs> if, if it would if it would size down but like the casual could... stuff though not like dinner <laughs> <laughs> just for like you're going into training you've got a fresh tracksuit on like she, she would deliver for that and some yeah. dunks or something she, don't wear crop tops, basically. she doesn't wear crop tops so i love that Mackenzie arnold is literally just at the side i mean she's more than welcome to say hello because i feel like we're leaving her out Come so on. she would like Come to so she doesn't her. feel left out she was actually very offended she didn't get the invite but i just uh, thought since she didn't even follow you guys i thought she'd say no so. See, I'm just gonna say Here Mackenzie. We there Hello. we go. I'm just gonna say it wasn't me that that made the call ups today. It was all Lois. So Sorry, don't let me think. Just clear this up. Just quite. Just oh, quick. We'll it back down. <laughs> My wardrobe isn't terrible. It's just not Lois's. We can't see Mackenzie Arnold. We can literally just hear her. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> My wardrobe isn't bad. It's just I answered you. No, if but, I was to go out for dinner, I still look good, is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Mackenzie, I'm I was actually person. I was actually gonna choose you for for whose outfit I thought they would have stole, so why, why Lois, I'm trying I'm trying to from my <laughs> Why would we say that? No, that's what I was gonna say. That was my thought that you were gonna say it. Just based off what I thought. No, I, I thought I, we'd I be quite similar, but we wasn't. Yeah, every no, idea. Me and me and Lois would be more similar than Grace, I would say. <laughs> Grace just goes for the again the basics, but there's, there's <laughs> you're really emphasising the basic word, aren't we here, Lois? <laughs> Not sorry, basics a bad term. Um, you're simple yet essential. effective. The closet essentials, like you've got right. I'm waffling. Let's <laughs> let's next question, please. We're gonna go simple but effective, Grace, and we Thank we you. love that. You're not getting. You're not. She likes to spend her money on good times and not good things. Experiences rather than materialistic <laughs> there items. Go. There we go. Lois, you've you've really saved yourself there. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> Who is the? Uh, we're gonna go a little bit more into into the football side of things. I always like to know, and a few people have actually asked it as well, which is always great because then I get to ask the questions that I I really enjoy. Who is the player who you've played against and they have been a handful? Who has been really, really hard to play against? You can name more than one. Um, the first time we played against City when I was playing Caroline Weir was next level. Just like her movement. I was in midfield at the time and I just, I, sh very, I struggled to, uh, to mark her. She's very clever. So that would be my answer. Similar lines. Lauren Hemp's just never that much fun to play against. <laughs> Good thing we're playing City We twice. are playing City <laughs> twice, but... Um, yeah, I'm trying... I mean, there's quite a few, to be fair, forwards <laughs> in the WSL. Unless she was pretty good against... Yeah, us. she was good against us. This season, I'm trying to think who really wound me up. Um... Yeah, <laughs> she's just such a solid defender. <laughs> yeah, she's yeah, just I, she's not struggling at all. You're just solid. Like the reason I say Lauren Hemp is based on last season when I got yeah. put fullback slash wingback for the last ten minutes of the game. Yeah, it's a bit of a blur because it was <laughs> that awful. <laughs> Good for yeah, the centre back, back, not fullback. But <laughs> but on the topic of Man City, we have two big games coming up two this weekend games, in the yeah. league, and then. Another huge opportunity for us in the semi-finals at home in Dagenham on the 16th, 16th. of April. Yeah, that's our semi. 
So it would be good if people came out to that because I think it would be a great, a great game. And it's at home, right? In Dagenham? At Dagenham yep. City? Yep. At home, 16th of April. Yeah. I, I'll come and support. Thank you. Are you supporting oh, yeah. who, who will you be supporting? Well, we're, we're going to support women's football. That's who mm. we will be supporting. Right. 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 <laughs> right. I can't say who I'm going to support just in case, but we're, enough, we're going to support the women's game. That is what we're going to do. Yeah. We'll take <laughs> but, um, that. We'll take it. So, you, yeah, I think that's a great answer from me. You put me on the spot there. I wasn't expecting that. I thought I was asking you the questions. <laughs> <laughs> so we spoke about playing against other players and other teams, but do you ever get thrown off when you have to play against your mates? Or is it literally... Nah, I'm ready for this. Because I know for me, if I have to play against my mate, I just laugh a lot and get really distracted. And it's not its not a great time for me sometimes. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't say I get distracted or I'm, like, laughing. But, like, I would sort of... If the ball's out of play or there's a foul or there's an injury or something, like, I like having a little chat, like, yeah, hey, like, what's yeah, that? Like, what? chat throughout the game kind of thing. But it doesn't affect, like... Yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna change my game or anything because I'm playing against one of my best mates, you know. But it's I actually quite like it because we can talk through the game more with them. <laughs> yeah, just a subtle comment here and there. Yeah, but yeah. How how nice is it playing with and against people that you've grown up in and around? Like how how good does that feel? Just knowing that the people you you've been around for X amount of time, you you're coming up with them and you're playing professional football with them. Like that must be super special. Yeah, no, it's definitely, I think one of the favourite parts about football is you get to share a journey with quite a few people and you make really strong friendships. And, I'm, you know, I'm still friends with people that I was friends with playing football like five, six years ago. And then seeing them do well, it's just nice, isn't it? You get to, like, you go through ups and downs, but you do it all together, so. That's really nice. <laughs> well, that's that is really, good. yeah, that, that yeah. was, honestly, yeah. like, Lois for, Lois for president with speeches like that. Stop it. Stop it. Um, who inspired you to, to play football and to get into it? Grace, do you want to go first? Um, I wouldn't really say I have, like, one person or, a, like, two people or anything that mainly inspired me. I just think as I grew up, like, my dad always liked sports. My, I have a twin brother, so we was always sort of playing together as well. Um, and then in Who's school, better, you or your twin? Oh, absolutely me. He he's not a sportsman anymore. <laughs> oh, Dom, bless him. Um, but like throughout school and stuff, like yeah, I just learned to obviously love playing football. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't really say anyone necessarily inspired me. You know, I just got to know the women's game more and watch more games and get into it more and just like obviously become a fan. And then obviously now I get to play in it as well. Yeah, and then I'd say for me, my family were huge are, are huge Chelsea fans. So, yeah, I just grew up in and around football a lot. My dad was a huge football fan, so that was probably where I got it from. And then playing in primary school, all my friends were like boys. I was a bit of a tomboy back then. And, yeah, just kicking it around and fell in love with it, really. And then went to my first women's football game. I think I was, like, 13 and I, like, well, maybe younger, like, 11. And I was like, wait a minute, women can play football, like, as a job. Like, that's crazy. I didn't even think about it before, so... Yeah, it was like an Arsenal game. I got Jane Ludlow's shirt from it still. I still have it in my wardrobe at home. That's unreal. Yeah, so that was probably when I was like, oh, this is crazy. Like, this is what I want to do. Yeah. Was there certain players that you looked up to when you did start playing, like male or female? My idols growing up were Frank Lampard, Joe Cole, and then probably some Arsenal women's players just because I, I grew up in North London and that was like my local team yeah. that I'd go and watch. Yeah, I was also a Chelsea fan growing up. So in terms of, like I like the men, like John Terry, Michael Ballack, all them people. And then, yeah, I, I didn't really watch women's football, to be honest, when I was growing up. Um, but obviously, you know, the names like Kelly Smith and that were always big. Um, but yeah, I didn't really start watching women's football till I was, I don't even know how old, but I, like I, was, I didn't grow up watching it. Yeah, kind yeah. Of thing. Um, and it was much harder to watch <clears throat> women's football back then. Like I didn't even really know it was a thing. Yeah, and that's yeah. why. But yeah, obviously it's much better now, so that's cool. Definitely. Uh, I'm going to ask you two more questions. 
and then I will leave you to the rest of your evening because I I realise it's half eight where you lot are. It's a little bit later where I am. But um, the first one would be, well, the first one is not would be because I'm about to ask it. The first one is if you had to make a combine, combine so together, five-a-side team, who would be in your team? Oh. Women's players. That's actually a great question. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, well, do we take up two of the spots already? Oh, no, you can't out? be players. You're joint, you're joint right, manager. Right. You're joint manager. Joint, joint manager. manager. All right. Joint manager. Um, five aside. Five aside. I won't go eleven aside. That would be extremely difficult. Well, I think we've got to pick Alexia Ballon d'Or winner. Yeah. Barcelona. Yeah. It would be rude not to FC Barcelona. Barcelona. Um. So that's one. Yep. Um. Lauren Hemp. Lauren Hemp. Yeah. We've we've literally just sung her praises. So that would also be rude not to. Um. I mean, we've got Leon on now. Wendy Renard, maybe just a solid, yeah, brick at the back, maybe that's a good uh, shout. Or Buchanan, I like her. Oh, yeah, yeah, actually, she's... let's go. We're scrapping, we're, going... we're scrapping. When sorry, Wendy, you're out. Let's go. Buchanan, you, she's more she's useful. Yeah. So, we've got Alexia Buchanan, Lauren Hemp. Um, do, we need, do we pick a keeper? Is that stupid? Do we have a keeper for five side? I mean, you can if you want, and there I is also one works. in the room, so um, <laughs> I'd rather open out. <laughs> Yeah, let's do outfielders. Let's do just outfielders. five outfielders. Um, yeah, let's get someone controlling. Yeah. Kim Little. Yeah. We were watching yeah. Arsenal earlier and unfortunate loss, but she she just wriggles her way out of things on five yeah. side. That would be very good. Four. You can pick the last one. Um, let's pick... Have we got like a big leader? Um, last one, you put the pressure on me. Let's go for um, Jilly Flaherty. <laughs> Jilly Flaherty, how could we not? She'll bring the experience, she'll bring the voice on the pitch. There we go. That's a solid team. I was literally just about to say, I love that you've not picked a single West Ham player and then you dropped in Jilly. You saved yourself. Oh, legend. And that leads on nicely to the last question I was actually going to ask you, um, obviously the Women's Champions League, the crowd sizes that we've had in, we had records broken uh, yesterday in the two matches. And you, you've just said that you, you've been watching the games. Like, How important is it to, to back the game and get involved and watch it and to, to be present, whether that's online watching it uh, through XYZ or being at the grounds itself? How important is it to, for you? Yeah, I think it's obviously very important and it's a really exciting time for women's football. And I think it's just, it's important in the way that it, then, you know, girls can grow up watching girl footballers as well as the men's. Yeah. And, you know, have someone to look up to. So I think in that sense, it's really important. And yeah, I just think the game keeps growing each year and it's exciting to see where it goes. Yeah, as we said earlier, like we didn't really grow up necessarily watching women's football, whereas now obviously all our games... Some are on Sky, some are on BBC, but all of them are on the FA players. So it's always a way to watch them. Um, and obviously, in match attendances as well, like going to the games themselves also. But as long as there's a way for people to watch it, I think yeah. that's obviously the main thing, having access and then obviously just building the fan base from there will only, you know... Yeah. And hopefully encourage more girls to play. Mm -hmm. Definitely, love that. Well, thank you both for joining me and shout out to the uh, appearance. Mackenzie, thank you for popping in giving the fans what they want. We we absolutely love that. But thank you so much for joining me. I genuinely have very, very much so enjoyed it. And as you said, you've got two big games coming up. Where can people follow you? And one more time, tell us about the game that you want them to come down to. So we play Man City twice. Lucky us. We get to play them tom on Saturday. Is that tomorrow? Saturday, 11.30. Yep. It's Friday tomorrow. Sorry, it's Saturday in two days. We're on a Thursday night live. Yep, yep. Um, and then the FA Cup semi-final, April the 16th. Come down and support us. It's at Dagenham and Redbridge FC. And it'll be great to have as many people there as possible. We'll need, we'll need every single one. And it'd be lovely to have such you know, a big crowd at the semi-finals. Yeah. yeah. So Amazing. let's get Dagenham and Redbridge rocking.
loved that. Again, thank you so much for, for joining me. It's been an absolute blast and enjoy the rest of your evening and enjoy the rest of the Women's Champions League match, which is currently on right now. Yeah. Thank you. See you later. Thanks. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.